Hi everybody, it's Nika. I have a project I'd like to share with you. It was for a personal swap that I participated in with a bunch of my crafty friends. And it is a 2013 calendar page swap. Um, our hostess for this is Gina, who is Scrapinology on YouTube. And um, there's 12 of us and we each selected a month. And um, we're supposed to make 12 8x8 calendar pages. I selected the month of May and um, I actually wanted April because around the time that we were um, talking about doing this swap, Graphic 45 came out with the Birdsong collection and in that collection there's this sheet of paper which is the cherry blossom paper and I love cherry blossoms and I saw this and I was like oh my gosh I had to have it and then when we were talking about the calendar pages I was like oh my gosh I have to use it so that's what I used for my page um, May is also Mother's Day um, so I wanted to make my page very feminine oh I wanted um, April first of all because April in Japan that's usually when the cherry blossoms um, bloom is April and then they have the cherry blossom festival and all that good stuff but um Harumi had taken April before I got a chance to snatch it so I took May instead and um like I said this is also the month where it has Mother's Day and so I wanted to make this really girly and feminine and so I used a lot of pinks and browns and lots of flowers and pretty stuff um so I used a 6x6 portion of the Cherry Blossom page and then I lined that with light pink satin 1 8 inch of a ribbon and then um, for the brown border I embossed it with this embossing folder it's a cuddle bug embossing folder and it's kind of like um, branches with leaves and berries on it really really pretty so these are one inch strips that I embossed and then um, for each of the leaves I'm not sure if the embossing is really showing but um, for each of the leaves on the embossed area I used a green marker and colored that in and then for each of the berries I took individual pearls and I just glossy accented um, onto the page so that it wouldn't come off and <laughs> When I was first showing um, the girls what I was doing, Gina's like, oh my gosh, you're crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And I was like, oh no, it's okay. It's, you guys are my friends and you guys are totally worth it. And they are totally worth it because, you know, we um, we get, got to know each other really well. And um, so all this effort was well worth it. But it was it was a little bit crazy. <laughs> I used two different size pearls. There's these really itty bitty teeny ones and then there's these um, kind of medium smallish type and um, I first started using the pearls from this recollection um, pack. I used the itty bitty tiny pearls and then the next bigger size but um, these are kind of expensive. They're like seven dollars for a pack and I needed to do 12 pages that was just a whole lot of pearls so what I ended up doing was um, Hobby Lobby has these small pearls so in um, in strips so I got that and I cut them down into um, individual pieces so that I could use that instead of the strip which wasn't so bad and then um, for the really itty bitty tiny ones I bought this at Michaels it's by Doris it's um, alphabet pearlized alphabet stuffs and so I had to cut each one individually and then stick it onto my page and it was a ton of work but like I said they're my really good friends and it was really worth it it turned out it turned out really really pretty I really like um, the effect that it gave to my project um, so that's the border for this branch here I used uh, this memory box die it's the woodland branch really pretty and um i was going to make little cherry blossoms but um the die that i had gotten for it was really big for my project so i ended up using these flowers they're by prima they came out with this like um a few years ago 
and they came out with a whole line from January to December, the different flowers of the month, and I love these flowers. This this one in particular, the May, because it's white and you can um you can color them to fit your project or and you can um, add centers. They're really small and so they're really great for altar projects and mini albums. So I've been hoarding this just a little bit. This is my last bottle. See, I used up this bottle already. <laughs> So, yeah, these are really hard to find now. I might try and find some more, but I really love these flowers. I have all 12 months, but this is my favorite, and I bought tons of extras of that. So, um, that's what I did for the cherry blossoms. I just used a bit of um, tattered rose and this bullet tip fantastic. I just dipped it in the ink and then I dabbed the centers so that it would give a pinkish color in the middle and then I added some brown rhinestones to kind of be the centers since it was so small. So that's what I did for that. Um, I used my Spellbinders Nestabilities labels 18 I think for this and then I used my Silhouette SD to cut out um, May and 2013 and I just added it there. For the butterfly, I just layered some Martha Punch um, butterflies. I really like to layer them. I do that a lot with all my butterflies. Make all kinds of colors. <laughs> but that's my favorite way to um, do butterflies is to layer them like this. And then for the fan, um, this is also part of the Songbird collection. It's one of the stamps. There's just this fan here that I stamped in walnut stain on some craft cardstock. And then it has three different choices of um, centers to decorate the fan. So I used this one with the bird and the cherry blossoms. And I just stamped it on some um, Stampin' Up! Pink Pirouette um, cardstock. And then I used some homemade Glimmer Mist stuff to just really pearlize both um, this cardstock and the pink up here. So. It didn't lose any of the color, but it's just really, really shimmery. So that came out pretty good. And then on the fan, I just um, put some lace and some beads to make it look really girly. And in the centers of the cherry blossoms on some of them have um, some of these itty bitty tiny pearls. So, and um, for my calendar, I just printed out on vellum so that you can see the paper in the background. I really didn't want to cover up the paper because the, that was the whole reason why I chose my month. So I really didn't want to cover it up too much. So I used vellum so you can see through and then I stamped Mother's Day. Um, I have this really itty small, bitty small um, dollar stamp that has Mother's Day on it. So I used that. And on the back, I just kept it really simple since it's kind of really small, the calendar here. Um, I just made like a printed out a sheet of paper that has each day of the month and then some notes on the bottom so that you know they can write names or um, reminders on here and just made a pocket out of some brown cardstock layered it with some ribbon some pink satin ribbon and then some 1 8 inch um, brown satin ribbon and then just tied a brown bow and put a little a pearl on top of that and then these corners are from a cuddle bug die that I absolutely love. It's It really adds a touch of elegance to a project in the corners. So I use this quite a bit um, in my projects. And then in the centers here, I just added a tiny pink rhinestone. So that is my project. And I can't wait to get the rest of the calendars so that next year all I have to do is change it every month and have a new work of art just sitting out to remind me of the days so I can't I can't wait to get the rest of this and I'll make a video of that when I do get the rest so thanks for watching hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you guys later bye